Hi friends, I thought I would do a brief reflection on the gospel reading for this Sunday, the third Sunday of Easter. It's from the Gospel of Luke. And we'll just do a little reflection on it. You can see we have the Paschal candle lit, reminding us that Jesus gave us new light and life through his resurrection. I'd like to lift up a song that you probably already know. We sing it in church. Just a portion of it that will help us prepare ourselves to listen to the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, give thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, give praise to his name. So I'm going to read from the gospel, but let's think about what happens at the beginning of this reading that I'm not going to read. There's a few disciples that are on the road to Emmaus. And as they're walking along, they're very sad because they think that Jesus is gone. They do not understand the resurrection. That Jesus joins them on the road and walks with them and talks to them, but they do not recognize him. He does not look like he did before the resurrection. I want you to listen to the end of the gospel. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly to, say, strongly to stay, saying, stay with us because it is almost evening and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. And he vanished from their sight. The Lord has risen indeed. He had been made known to them in the breaking So they did not recognize Jesus. They must have liked him, this new friend that they made along the way, because they invited him to stay and to be with them that evening. But they didn't recognize him until he broke the bread and he shared it with them. So their eyes were open and they could see that it was Jesus. He didn't look the same. And then he vanished. He was gone. But in that moment, they understood that the resurrection was real. And that they were given a great gift. And they knew that they had to continue this gift of breaking of the bread. And we share in that meal when we come together at the Eucharist. And Jesus is present to us in that very particular way, in the bread and the wine. And he nourishes us for this life and for the life to come. So we are experiencing the resurrection just as if the disciples themselves experienced the resurrection in the breaking of the bread. And we can't be together as we normally would be to break the bread at the Eucharist, but in breaking the bread, we share Jesus. And even in our own homes, he is present with us in the meal that we share together if we praise and glorify him. So there's a song that has sign language. I want to teach it to you. So it goes, rise and shine. Thank you for Jesus Christ, rise and shine. Thank you for Jesus Christ, rise and shine. Thank you for Jesus Christ, I'm so glad he came. So that's a fun song that you can do the sign language, learn the signs. It's a little difficult. 
but it's great to add another layer of language to our worship. So I hope you enjoy that, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you on Sunday morning on um, Facebook Live and at our coffee hour. So have a great weekend. Peace be with you. Amen.